A new episode has started and with that comes a new map pool. Haven is out and Icebox is back in. Today we'll talk about which controller agents are best for each map and I'll give you some tips on how to play those agents on each so you have the tools you need going into episode 8. I'm chill and let's get into it. Let's start with the map most people expected to leave the pool, Ascent. Ascent hasn't changed in a very long time, so you can probably guess which controllers are best here based on what you've seen in your games. While it is a very flexible map for controllers, Omen is the top dog here for several reasons, but I'll give an honorable mention to Astra and Brimstone. Brim is another easy controller to play here, and getting through those tight chokes leading to sight with a stim can add decent value to the team. Astra is solid on Ascend as well, but since she has a high skill floor and requires more team play, I'd really only recommend her if you have mained her or you're in higher ranks. Now let's go over some ways Omen can play on attack and defense. He's a great agent in general for all ranks because of his intuitive abilities and low skill floor. On defense, you're going to get the most out of his abilities playing A site. The reason for this is his ability to play actively fighting for A main control or passively on site. When playing Sight, Omen can jump spot from Hell and use Dice as cover. During a rush, Omen can blind from Sight, disrupting the attacker's rush. When he's in a pinch and needs to leave Sight, just turn around, aim at the corner of this metal bar, and TP into Rafters. He can also use this Sight Smoke for retaking from Heaven since it blocks the A choke, or use it to play around while on Sight during an enemy rush. When playing more actively to fight for a main control, Omen can one-way a lobby which the attackers will need to respect, or use utility to take over the space. Omen can also move into Wine and with the help of a teammate, flash all of a main and destroy the enemy's attacking chances. Back on site, he can TP on top of Shroud, and again, make sure you have a teammate close by to help shoot any recon or flash utility to keep yourself hidden from attackers. If attackers are coming down cat, Omen has this one way in tree that can halt their push into this space, but it will take some practice to get down. You may need to switch your smoke modes to find the spot. When his ult is online and a B rush is happening, Omen can instantly TP into back B to assist his team. My ultimate is ready. Stealing sight. One enemy remaining. On attack, your smokes are pretty self-explanatory and can go in these spots depending on where you want to take space. When attacking A, you can either push the defender off of A choke with your blind, or wait until the sight execute and flash gen to help your team take sight. On B, you have these smokes for market and CT with a flash that hits lane, switch, and stairs, and you can also TP into logs. During post plant on both sites, Omen can one way stairs at B and Gen or Tree at A. Shadows traveling. One enemy remaining. This Gen one way prevents the diffuser from seeing and delays the defuse. One enemy remaining. All right, let's move on to Bind. Bind has always been dominated by Brimstone due to the fact that it's a smaller map making it easier for him to smoke both sites without having to rotate. His smokes also last longer than a typical dome smoke like Omen or Astra's, so your team can maintain site control longer. Omen can absolutely work well here too, so if you're more comfortable with him, then by all means stick with Omen. Viper gets the honorable mention, but she works best when accompanied by Brim to control both sites. Like I said before, double controller requires more coordination with your team, and good luck getting two people to pick controller and ranked, at least at lower elos. Stick with Brim and you're set. Brim is pretty straightforward on this map. When attacking A, you can smoke both sides of triple and stim your teammates into sight. Save that last smoke to re-smoke between truck and triple, or CT if you want full sight control. When Brim has ult, a great way to take U-Haul is by blasting the entire thing. This is a great ult because if a defender is pushed up in U-Haul, they either won't make it out alive or they'll take damage and give up control of that area. Either way, it's almost a guaranteed way to control U-Haul, which is important when taking A. On B, things are even more simplified with a smoke and elbow and CT. If the defenders teleport, you can always use that third smoke and hookah, which they'll be forced to jump out of or use flashes to get out. Brim has some easy post plant lineups on this map as well, but there's a million guides out there, so I'll let you do that research on your own as I don't feel it's super important or required to know. On defense, Brim can play either A or B, but since you'll most likely be playing solo controller, playing either U-Haul on A or Hookah on B is recommended since you'll be able to smoke both sites, except for showers and long depending on what site you're on. 
When smoking short, you usually want to place the center dot on the front corner of the box since this will provide you with coverage of anyone jumping up and also give you a little one way if you're playing to the left of a short. A normal smoke can work, but I'd suggest only really using this on an eco with a shorty or bucky to get a quick one or two kills and die or get out. If you want to farm the showers orb with a teammate, you can smoke the entrance to showers. B is self-explanatory with smokes in hookah and long. Mollies will mostly be used here to delay a sight rush or split up the attackers and do some chip damage. Either that or you can easily deny an A plant with this bank shot off the wall near pocket. One left standing. Moving on to Lotus, your number one is going to be Omen again, but there's some more flexibility here with Viper as well. Unlike Bind, Viper can play this map as a solo controller, but you'll typically see more double controller comps with Viper and Omen or Viper and Ashra. Ashra can also be good as a solo controller here in higher ranks. I'd stick to Omen if you're newer to the Smokes role as it'll be much easier to pick him up and play. On attack A, there's typically a lot of utility used to fight for A main control, and Omen can bypass this by TPing across to Rubble. You normally want to smoke stairs to take A main control, and then A top when you're taking sight. Omen's flash can be used as needed where you think an enemy may be playing based on recon. With the new A main changes, you could flash the close left area of A main, which covers the entire spot. You could also use it to flash sight from tree. On B, you typically want to smoke upper and CT while providing a flash in the same manner as A. Not much has changed at C for Omen specifically, and you can still flash bend which now also hits the close left area recently added to the map. TPing to this box stack can also help you avoid sentinel utility, just make sure a flash or recon is used before doing this. On defense, Omen is best suited playing A aggressively taking space with his team, or B providing a flash for the same reason. When taking A main control, you can flash root and TP rubble, just make sure you do it quickly. When playing more passively A, you can just smoke A main and tree if it's an A split. You also have the option to one way door if they come tree, or you can be crazy and TP on top of the door when it's open. Nothing really to B, but if retaking from CT, you can flash the entire right side of sight. On C, early round, you have this nice one way for C lobby, allowing you to take space in mound and force the attackers to use utility to get around it. Might want a teammate to help you out with this play though. During post plant C, you can flash diagonally across sight, then either smoke the bomb to defuse or smoke main. One enemy remaining. Next up, we have the new and hopefully improved icebox. No major surprises here from last time Icebox was in the rotation, and Viper will be our meta controller here. Just like Breeze, Viper is a necessity on this map, however, I will give an honorable mention to Harbor. Although a generally weaker version of Viper, Harbor can take space with his cascade blocking areas of verticality, which are plentiful on Icebox. His wall can substitute Vipers with some extra flexibility, and his cove can help secure the plant on B, which is notorious for being difficult to do without the help of a sage wall. He could be used as a double controller with Viper, but again, team coordination is paramount in those comps, and Viper can provide a ton of potential value on her own. That being said, let's start with attack. Viper has two walls on attack that can be used. This one at B cuts off nest vision to sight and yellow, and blocks the long snowman angle. Walk into the wall at this line, turn to the right until your crosshair is on this faint dark mark on the wall, and place the wall. On B, she can place the wall from spawn barrier, landing the wall on top of screens. Just make sure to place it towards the right so defenders can't stand up there without getting decayed. As for her orb, you have a few options. Most of the time, you'll want to throw it mid to threaten the mid lurk or tube walk up. This orb is great for denying the defender's info and showing presence. There are three spots you can throw the orb from depending on if you're going A, mid, or B. When going B, walk into the corner of the yellow guardrails, look up until the right corner of your toxin bar touches the bottom left corner of the white square, and throw. For mid, walk into the spawn barrier, walk left until you can no longer see tube, and the opening beneath it. Aim in the middle of the thin line on the wall and throw. This orb can help you get into mid in your smoke before Sova's dart comes in from boiler. Last, for a lurk or a push, you can hop up on the first small box, aim at the gray part of the top of the ridge on the mountain in the background, and throw. The next orb you can throw is for rafters at A. This will prevent a defender, usually an opper, from getting an early pick on you belt. 
It also makes it difficult for the defender backsight from peeking. To throw this, go to the spawn barrier and look down at this line. Look up at the top of the corner of this structure on the ceiling, and when the barrier drops, full run and throw when your crosshair reaches the end of the corner. Let's switch over to defense. There are a few different walls you can use, but you'll get the most value out of this A wall. Walk to the spawn barrier below boiler, aim at the metal edge on the right so it lines up with the top of screens, and place the wall. This wall will allow you to play on 410, and when you have your ult, you can pop it up there at the beginning of the round safely. If you're interested, some anti-plant mollies can be found in other videos and guides, so check those out if you'd like. As for your orb, you can place it in two positions at B. The first is in front of the plantable area. If you're not playing B, you can use this lineup from the back corner of hut. Use the line under your ammo, place it in the corner where the two brown lines on the building meet, and throw. This works as an anti-plant orb in conjunction with your mollies as well as an orb to conceal the diffuser on your team. The other orb is a one-way for the white box. Stand with your back against the wall, aim towards the right of the bottom of the number 2, and jump right click. Easy one way. That's going to be it for Icebox, let's head to Breeze, another Viper map. It seems we've reached the age of Viper because just like Icebox, Viper is the queen of Breeze. There really isn't a reason not to use her over any other controller. Breeze is designed for a Viper, and although Harbor can technically be used on this map fulfilling a similar playstyle, the value you get from Harbor's wall is much less than Viper's. Cove loses a lot of value on this map due to the plant positions on site, and there aren't many elevation changes where his Cascade could be used effectively. Let's start on attack with some useful walls and orbs for A, mid, and B. This A wall has been standard on Breeze for a while. Head into the corner of Spawn Barrier and aim up until you see this upside down triangle on the wall and put your crosshair over the left corner. I checked this on low settings and you can still see the triangle, but it might be more faint. This wall ensures that no one can stand behind the wall on top of Pyramid or on the ground behind it without being decayed. You can place your orb on the bomb for post-plant mollies. You don't necessarily need lineups, but to hit the default plant spot, just aim at the base of the pyramid where the bomb is planted. In mid, you have a couple of options. The first wall requires you to get to pillar, so you may want to throw your orb in mid doors. This is an easy lineup. Just walk into the left corner of spawn barrier, look up at this metal circle thing, and throw. If you commit A, you can pick the orb back up for post plant, or leave it there for any mid rotators. Next, walk into the bottom corner of the pillar, aim at the extended corner of mid doors, and place your wall. This wall will help you cross mid to doors and prevent any deep A players from seeing your cross to site. You can also hop up on these boxes onto stairs and play behind the wall in this unexpected position. If your team decides to split B from mid either through elbow or bottom mid, you can use this orb lineup. Walk into the right corner of spawn barrier, aim the diamond of your right click orb UI indicator in the middle of the top piece of wood on pillar. When the barrier drops, walk, and when the diamond hits the bottom piece of wood, throw. It'll land right in the middle of Nest to help your team take mid. At A, we have an easy wall that cuts through half wall, blocking arches and tunnel. No real lineup here. That's it for attack, let's switch over to defense. Viper can play either A or B depending on your team's needs. If you have a Cypher, their best setups will be on B, but you can switch sites if needed. For the first A wall, come over to the spawn barrier and aim at the top corner of the building and place the wall. This will block off the A choke and mid. The second wall is more aggressive. In the same spot, aim above the brick stack towards the left. This wall cuts off the A choke, but also allows you this little sneaky pocket to play in if you're on an eco or want some trick mix-up play to do. Your orb can go in a few places. The first is this nice one way for A shop. Stand at the spawn barrier and aim at the bottom of the lights where they're divided. Next, you can throw an orb in this gap between the pyramid and fence. This will make it difficult for attackers to push through and keep them in an uncomfortable space in the open. Next, you can either throw the orb on the ground in front of the mid-door spawn barrier or use this one way. Walk into the corner and aim the left side of the line under your toxin number just above the tip of the triangular shadow on the ground. This does have to be fairly precise, so you may want to practice it a bit before a real game. Over on B, we have a couple wall options again. 
all that cover elbow, pillar jump up, and mid. For the first, walk into the cubby and point the wall at the left corner of the shoot drop down. This will ensure the wall blocks the entirety of pillar jump up. It also gives you this little corner spot to lurk into if needed. You can also place this wall from the B choke. Just make sure the wall line travels across the rectangle on the minimap showing the pillar jump up. You can move into this backside corner, look up, and aim pretty much anywhere in the general area of the plants on the wall, and throw when the barrier drops. You can play on the barrier on site with your molly out, and jiggle peek the bee choke. If attackers rush, shoot your molly, pop your orb, and if a jet dashes in, you'll have the advantage since their team will be blocked off and they'll be decayed from your orb or molly. That's about it for Breeze, let's head over to Split. On Split, Omen once again takes the number one spot here since he has a lot of solid options for his blind on attack and defense. His ability to smoke anywhere on the map, aside from playing on the extremities of the sights, makes him an easy choice over the other controllers. His ability to TP onto areas of height quickly escaping dangerous positions or getting into dangerous positions can also generate a lot of value for your team. Ashra is our honorable mention for high ranks as she can deliver huge potential value on defense and attack with various smoke grab well combos, and the tight spaces in mid also allow her AoE abilities to shine. Her ult is also great for taking sights on attack and retaking on defense. Viper can also work, but again, only for double controller, since she can't spread her utility too thin. Okay, let's talk about some omen plays on attack starting with A-Sight. A great way to start the round is by playing in sewers. Ping towards the right of the defender's spawn barrier to account for the elevation change, and throw your blind from this area of sewers. It'll actually be harder to dodge than if you threw it head-on further back in sewers, and it'll even hit the right side of heaven. As for smokes, you can smoke heaven, so the smoke is extended to the edge of the heaven ledge. This way, you can TP behind it safely and move into the smoke to take heaven control with a teammate coming up ramps. The second smoke can go screens a little extended to cover stairs. This way, if someone is playing elbow on your team after taking sight, they can see an enemy come out of the smoke as opposed to it being deeper in screens. For mid, you can smoke either ropes or mail depending on your plan for the round. You can also use these smokes to show presence or lurk mid. A blind can be thrown into mail or heaven from ramen just like sewers, just make sure to ping for elevation. When taking mid you can smoke back of heaven, but you won't have a smoke for CT on B, so you'll need to decide based on the info you have what's best. On B you have normal smokes in heaven and CT, and this blind for close right and sight. If you need to get past the molly or trips with the teammate, you can TP to pillar and break it for your team, or fight with your duelists. There are various plays you can make with your ult, but it depends on the situation, so I won't go into detail on that. On defense, you can play a variety of positions switching from A to B with your Cypher if needed. On A, you have a nice one-way smoke for A lobby when playing ramps. You can also smoke deep into A main to control this space. If they already cross A main, smoke normally in front of it. You can get aggressive with a raise ult in lobby by flashing early for them or flashing from ramps if they cross your smoke. Your flash can be used to retake from screens since the elevation is a bit better for you. Flashing elbow might work best here. The mid smoke can go on the stairs if there's pressure here or at the top of mail to help your heaven teammate if needed. On B you can use your normal smoke or on retake use this alternative smoke that sits between billboard and pillar. Your flash can be used from back B or sight during a rush. One enemy Moving on to Sunset, our last map. You probably guessed it again, but Omen is your best controller for Sunset. We'll get into the details, but his utility overall is great for this map, so he will generate the most value for your team here. Astra is a decent high rank pick as well if Omen isn't your guy. Brim can be used, but his utility isn't as well suited for this map, and if you want to be able to smoke both sites on defense, you're restricted to playing top mid or market. Let's talk about B first, since there is an interesting smoke here. You may see some differences in opinion on the B market smoke, whether it should be extended to cover this corner, or just make it flush with the market choke, so this will be up to you, but I think extending it past the choke to cover this corner may be a bit better, so that defenders can't sneak past it and play in this spot. The boba smoke is normal, and when executing, you want to blind the right side of sight to help your team get on, but if you have recon of a defender playing back pillar, you can angle it towards them as well. Omen is also great for attack since Cypher has unbreakable trips, allowing you to TP past them onto site with the help of some flash or recon utility from your team. For mid control, you can smoke top mid and you have the option to blind market from bottom mid at this diagonal angle 
which covers most of the common defender market positions. If you're with your team in mid, you can angle it towards the billboard. Over on A, you can start the round with this really strong flash from A lobby to A main. If you have a cipher, you can have them cam from the windows to see if anyone is there before flashing. Smoke the edge of the drop down at A link and CT. You also have this option to TP onto the site box, which gives you a nice bit of cover from the CT walkout, and if you have a teammate play high-low with you, or behind the small box and peek off your contact. If you didn't use your blind for A main, you can use it by elbow hitting the small box on site and all of back site for your elbow players. On defense, you have a lot of great options for Omen Smokes. On A, you can play site and have your teammate pressure A main. You can hold a flash for them that covers the whole area and one way the double stack to control A main. When playing more passively, you can smoke A main and elbow. You can smoke bottom mid or tiles if needed. There's also this nice one way for market if the attackers are pressuring from that area. Just make sure to position it as low as possible so that the tiles attacker can't see you on the other side. If you gave up control of market, you can throw this one way that sits on the top of the billboard as well. Last, on B, we have your normal smoke main, or you can smoke bomb for retake. There are a bunch of flashes you can use from boba and stairs that can hit different areas around pillar and back site, so it'll depend on what info you have. And that's it for Omen on Sunset. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me in the future. Subscribe for more guides like this one and check out this one next for more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.